Lesson 4.3b, Solving Problems Involving Area. We're still dividing mixed numbers. In fifth grade math, we learned that we can find the area of a rectangle if we multiply length times width. I'm going to have a link to that fifth grade 7.7 .7 video in this description. If we know the area and only one dimension, like the length or the width, we can divide the area by the known dimension to find the missing dimension, the unknown one. If we know the area and the length, we can find the width. We divide the area by the known measure, and the quotient is going to equal the missing measure. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. We found the width. Likewise, if we know the area and width, we can find the length. If we know the area is 8 and the width is 2, we can use division. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. We know the length is 4. We can solve area problems that contained mixed numbers by rewriting the mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1. The problem says the area of a rectangular garden is 38 and a half square feet. The length of the garden is 7 and 1 third feet. What is the width? So we think. We write the equation. It's a division equation. 38 and a half divided by 7 and 1 third. We rewrite as fractions greater than 1. 38 times 2 plus 1 is 77. We write it over that denominator. We have 77 halves. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1 as the numerator. We have 22 thirds. We write it over that denominator. Now we rewrite as multiplying by the reciprocal of the divisor. So this is going to become a multiplication sign. And we flip this around to the reciprocal. Now we have 77 halves times 3 20 seconds. Using GCF to cross cancel, we can see 77 and 22 have 11 as their greatest common factor. 7 times 11 is 77, and 2 times 11 is 22. So this cancels out as a, to be a 7. This cancels out to be a 2. Now we can do 7 times 3 is 21, and 2 times 2 is 4. We have 21 fourths. We think 21 divided by 4 is 5, and there's 1 fourth left over. We have to be careful. We don't use the greatest common factor in cross-canceling to simplify the equation until after we rewrite the equation as multiplication by the reciprocal of the divisor. So we have 3 sixteenths divided by 8 fourteenths. We change it to multiplication and then flip this around to be the reciprocal. Now we use the GCF in cross-canceling. We have a 14 and a 16. They have a 2 as a factor in common. So 7 times 2 is 14, so that cancels out as a 7. 8 times 2 is 16, so this cancels out as an 8. And we have 3 times 7 is 21, and 8 times 8 is 64. We have 21 64ths as our correct answer. If we mistakenly try using the greatest common factor before we do this, we're going to see an 8 and a 16 and think that they have 8 in common as a GCF, and they don't. That's wrong. And we'll think there's 1 8 here and 2 8s here, so we have 3 halves and 1 14th that would flip around to reciprocal as 14 over 1. Then we might try multiplying 3 times 14, which is 42, and 2 times 1 is 2, and when we simplify it, 42 divided by 2 is 21. We're going to think the correct answer is 21 whole as a whole number instead of this fraction, 21 64ths. So be very careful that you turn it into a multiplication problem with the divisor flipped around to its reciprocal before you use the GCF and cross-canceling. So, step by step, this is what we have. We write a division equation to represent the problem. We rewrite mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1. We rewrite as multiplication by the reciprocal of the divisor. Then we use the greatest common factors in cross-canceling to simplify the equation. Then we multiply numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. And the last thing we do is write the quotient 
as a mixed number and label with the given measure, because this is area. Is it feet, inches, meters, centimeters? We have to label it with the correct given measure. Our next lesson is going to be 4.4, and it's not broken up at all. It's just one lesson. We're going to talk about solving multi-step problems with fractions and mixed numbers before we move on to Module 5. It'll really help you if you have your multiplication facts memorized to 12. You'll go much quicker. Have a great day. Hit that like button so I know if you understood and you liked my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.